We are back for another year of football. The Saints start the era of Derek Carr. LSU is loaded and should be tuned up under second-year coach Brian Kelly. Nickel State is looking to get back on top with coach Tim Rebo at the helm. The high school teams are eager and ready. Our crew is also back. Our very own Cajun Cannon, Bobby A. Bear. Well, he's offering in-depth analysis and game strategies. Former All-Pro Rich Maudie brings his candid talk back for another year. Mike Dettelier will offer his great insight to the sports world each and every week. Harry McCullough will showcase a special guest of the week our high school expert Stan Gravois he'll be on hand to discuss high school football standings Chuck Bork takes over the question of the day this year as he puts his stellar law practice on hold for just five minutes and our weekly stay to play raffle will reward a lucky winner this year our naming sponsors will be part of the show Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Alford and Associates, for all of your insurance needs. St. Martin and Bork, attorneys at law, know your rights. Some perennial corporate sponsors are also on hand. South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Terrebonne General Health System, Community Sports Institute. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terrebonne Churches United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, from the Eugene and Lorraine Falls studios in home Louisiana, buckle up your chin straps. It's time for Sports on the Bayou. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Sports on the Bayou. Mike you along with the Cajun Cannon, Bobby Bear, Rich Marty. Got a great show today. Got some <laughs> Central Lafouche people here. Also, LSU basketball coach New Matt Pace. McMahon in the house. We'll New be back Pace with more yeah. Sports on the Bayou. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Market. Official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. And St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. When we come back, Saints Talk. You won't want to miss this. Don't go away. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Cardiovascular Institute of the South is celebrating 40 years of delivering health care to our patients and communities. Founded by Dr. Craig Walker in 1983 and guided by a mission to provide the highest quality cardiovascular care available, CIS has pioneered hundreds of firsts to improve outcomes for cardiovascular diseases. Through new technology, virtual care, outpatient procedures, and national growth, CIS is improving lives and leading the way for advanced care and innovation. Sports on the Bayou is also brought to you by our corporate sponsors. South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Terrebonne General Health Systems and their Community Sports Institute. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terrebonne Church's United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou, guys. The Saints with a victory Sunday over the Bears, 24-17. You get five turnovers, and you sweating this out to the final <laughs> minute of the game. I mean, it's just unbelievable. But we in that roller coaster ride. And you got to just play more than a half of football. And their defense, which I think is pretty good, but, you know, you just gave up way too much to a team that's not really very good right well, now. Well, the last the four games then not anything to start the game. Nothing. Uh, yeah. You know, you could close out the second half in the fourth quarter. Uh, but the one thing, uh, looking at what they did in the fourth quarter, uh, th that this is like, it's not an opinion. This is what they did. New Orleans forced two punts and three turnovers in the fourth quarter. 
And if you look at it, uh, the Saints defense, to say the least, dominated to close out the game. Chicago ran 14 plays in the final quarter, and they had 16 yards. Uh, that one at the beginning, this is Mike Oliver. They were gashing them, running oh. the ball, and throwing. You know, do you think we're getting long in the tooth that we can't go 60 minutes? I mean, is, because when they want to turn it on, I mean, they, I mean I, and Cam Jordan's had a f- phenomenal career. The only thing, the only thing we're getting out coached at the beginning, because you have 15 plays where you script, and then how are you going to attack your opponent? Because it's a chess match, and what you're going to do. And Dennis Allen, the last four games, they have not done that, because the Saints are amongst the best. Right now, we're leading the NFL in interceptions. Right. No, and we uh, get the turnover. you know, when you look and at turnovers. And turnovers. You're tied. You know, yeah. we're taking the football away. But you look at it right now, uh, the Saints, like I said, lead the NFL with 12 interceptions, tied for the, the lead in takeaways with 18. During the two-game winning streak, uh, the Saints have converted, now offensively, 50% of their third downs, uh, 13 of 26. And then uh, the Saints converted six of their last nine red zone drives. Now, can we say uh, thank God for Taysom Hill? That's for sure. I mean, uh, come on. A- anybody, listen. I don't know, modern-day version of Frank Gifford, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm on the bandwagon to put Taysom Hill not into Louisiana, or I, I'd even put him in the Bayou Hall of Fame, Martin. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at We can maybe but, make an exception. Uh, He's Saints been the Hall Thibodeau of Fame, a few times. I think He's pro football Hall of Fame, Taysom Hill has that, been that good. Early on, though, boy, Tyson Bajan, <laughs> uh, he was fearless. He throws this one up. Cole Komet. Over the top of Tyron Matthew. You're going to see a lot of that this coming week, too. You know, TJ Hawkinson at tight end. And then the first interception. Uh, finally, Paulson and Debo, <laughs> who had sort of complained, man, I'm getting my hands on passes, but I don't get the interception. He's leading he, the team with three interceptions. And he gets it. And then the touchdown pass to Chris Olave. Yeah, he could catch that and fall down. That, you know, it's interesting, easy. Michael Thomas only had one attempt. Didn't even catch a pass. Yeah, and that, then the, very seldom see. And then Taysom makes the touchdown catch, and then the look, doink here by when have Cairo you been Santos in the, dome, in the dome and seen uh, former two Tulane kickers, kicker kickers <laughs> hit the upright like double doink. I mean, I've never witnessed that. And then Bajan throws it over the middle. DJ Moore, who's a really good player, he gets the ball stripped from him. Get the the fumble recovery, oh, and then this one here, no, he Ruby the, hits the, from the fi- fifty five yards. Fifty five yard and makes a fifty five yard. Uh, no, he's on the eighty percent right now. That's not good. Then Taysom in the back of the end zone throws this one to Jawan Johnson. He finally he can't throw broke the out. forward pass. We don't just run with Taysom. <laughs> and then uh, another interception. Bajan got a little full of himself. He got a little bit hot and says, "You know what? I can put the ball anywhere on the field." And then again, another pickoff. Uh, for the Saints. Paulson and it sets up what would have won uh, you uh, money had, if you bet on the Saints. Uh, doink. And he misses it. Groupie misses it. you got to be kidding me. And then the Saints defense just uh, well, overwhelmed at the end. and they Okay, forced how, how about we do that in the first quarter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they weren't even close to Tyson Bajan in the first quarter, getting pressure on him. And one of the things the Bears had come in, they had run the ball well, but they had really run the ball well with Justin Fields at quarterback, who's got almost 300 yards rushing the football. I think it's like 297. Nobody saw Tyson Bajant run the ball at all. He ends up rushing, what, for 70 yards in this game? Pretty quick, yeah, he can run the so, ball. So, man, everybody's watched what Trevor Lawrence did to them, what Baker Mayfield did to them. Man, if I'm Josh Dobbs this week, yeah, I see that same thing. I'm going to run it also. Well, the, the, the yards all count, uh, you know, uh, whether it's the quarterback running or the running back uh, running. And I told Dennis Allen this, uh, you know, you take away the quarterback. Oh, how do we play against the run? Uh, well, this game, not so much. Uh, you look at Foreman, he averaged 4.2 yards a carry. They ended up having 156 yards. We gave up uh, basically five yards a carry. And then we only averaged 3.2. Mm. Now, Taysom, 4.7. Kamara was He's like always going to be five yards five in that and range. Half, and, and then uh, we averaged 3.2. So I told uh, Dennis Howell, no, we need to do, because this is what we did. You know, you look at the track record when he's been charged of the defense. Not last year, not this year. I don't know why. I mean, we haven't been as well. We said, oh, ship David Onyemata out of here, Shai Tuttle. He goes to Carolina. Onyemata goes to the Falcons. But, Mike, we have not been good against the run and we were. We were in 19. You wanted a better We were in the top three, team. 19, 20, and 21. So that's a big sample size. But as of late, we've not been able to stop the run. So that's going to be critical, whoever we're playing forward. Can we all of a sudden average 4.2 or more? And then can we, like, I don't know, give up 3.2? 
that that's going to be a big key going forward. And obviously, you know what we're doing, uh, we're taking away the football. So if you're number one in the NFL in the turnover margin and they have the most interceptions, uh, well, 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 Mike, you should, you should be winning. That's now you play the Vikings and with a quarterback who had two days of practice, he was going to be the backup, and he wins the game for him. Unbelievable. They, they, well, Minnesota's not going to be a cakewalk. No, they it's won't. Be, we're going to be a no, challenge. Well, well, when you look at Dobbs, uh, I'm telling you, I think, because I played the position, and that's one of the most greatest accomplishments in NFL history. It's like learning a foreign language, and then the coach is talking to you during the game, what you're doing. You don't even know the players' names, who you're throwing to, and what you're accomplishing. What Dobbs we'll did, back with I'm more telling you, it's one of the on greatest accomplishments. When we come back, who's in the crowd? Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18-wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin & Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin & Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18-wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin & Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. And by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. Martin, I'll throw it to you. All right, last week, Becky did such a good job of getting the crowd going. You know me, I like to pull people out their comfort zone. Dane, I would never make you stand in a chair because you could end up at Terrebonne General in the orthopedic department. So we won't do that, right? I'll give you a pass. Uh, please. How about April 6th? <laughs> Come on, April, you do it. Yeah, Come on. Stand up on the chair. Let's get people, let's get people clapping. It's dangerous. Let's get them going. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 All right. Oh, oh, oh. So our biggest cheer, now look. Rule of thumb. When I'm talking a little bit, you got to bring it down so you can hear me. Right, Richard? Our biggest cheer today is going to go all law enforcement, all people who served in wars, all first responders, all hospital workers. Big round of applause. Please stand up so we can give you all a hand. Very good. All right, April, get them back up. Now, here we go. All right, let's give it up for our naming sponsors. First of all, Rouse's, the official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. We have Alfred and Associates here at table two. Give them a big round of applause. And then we have St. Martin and Bork and Chuck Bork, who loves to hold a microphone. He feels right at home with it. He's got a lot of high-powered guests. Yeah, Martin, I was a uh, good thing. Kenzie at Phillips in the house. And I want to introduce our guest um, we have with us today from Terrebonne General. I got one problem, though, is I sat here and I noticed what was going on. They got the hound's tooth on, Martin. Well, that's Mackenzie Childs, is it? Uh, that's Mackenzie well, Childs. Can I say that's one of my that's biggest sponsors, and I don't give a damn what they wear. There you go. <laughs> well, all I'm going to say is I had second thoughts about it, but then I considered who it was. Both wonderful people. I'm going to turn the microphone off over to Miss Rhonda to introduce who she's got at the table with her. Thank you, Chuck. Okay, today we have our Chief Executive Officer, Diane Yates, with us, and we're all from Terrebonne General Health System. And we have our Executive Director of our Foundation for Terrebonne General, Ms. Elmi Savo, and our... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go Tigers. <laughs> and then we have Mary Chauvin. She's our Foundation for Terrebonne General Board Chair. I have my marketing team with us. We have Ali Boudreaux, who is our Marketing and Planning Coordinator. I have Allison Fontenot, who is our marketing and planning representative, and then Dustin Robichaud, who is our graphic designer slash videographer. And then I'm Rhonda Alford. I'm the director of marketing and planning, and we're proud to sponsor this show. All right. Thank you. We're proud to have y'all. 
All right, next up we have LaFouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. And uh, Ian on that table is one of our Keith Urban lookalikes. Ronnie, you got somebody else? Yes, yes. <laughs> Even though they're not at our table, I, I failed to mention, we have Stan Gravois, who is our Community Sports Institute coordinator, Brett Chasson, who's our Community Sports Institute, or Healthy yeah. Lifestyles director, and then Percy Mosley, who's our director of protective services with us. All right, Thank Stan. You. She, we'll just cut, out. she just cut two minutes out your segment, Stan. Just kidding. All right, once again, we have Lafouche Paris, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou, and now they do a great job for Lafouche Paris. Y'all give them a hand. <laughs> Tara Bowen, General Health System Stan has some important guests. I won't steal his thunder. He'll be getting to them during the segment. And we also have Barca Honda and Coach Wayne, oh, Mayor Wayne, bro. We call him Coach too, though. He's a little bit of everything. He brought the coach from LSU in for basketball. I'm not going to steal Harry's thunder on that. He's got him coming up. I just have one question real quick. Lester, who are you pulling for on Friday night's Nichols LSU game? I'm pulling for Nichols because LSU is writing a check. So I'm, I'm for Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't have said Nichols with your name all over Nichols, we wouldn't have been happy over here. I can promise you that. All right, South Louisiana Bank. Y'all give it up. A couple of Nichols grades in there. And we got Terrible and Churches United, and they're doing a great job for the community. At that table, you got two councilmen at the table, Mr. Danny Babin and Mr. Dirk Gidry. Y'all give them a round of applause. All right, we have Terrible and Paris Consolidated Government, and there we see some more law enforcement there. And Dean, show them your hand real quick. Put your hand up. Dean's on injured reserve. He's going to take some ladder climbing lessons. And then, but we're glad to see you back and running. All right, we have, He has to play hurt. Yeah. We have GIS in the house. We appreciate them. Always good to see them. They're great sponsors. And we have uh, Cohen Gidry here with Tita. He's got some high powered guests, too. And uh, one of them that pretty much controls your budget, right? Or controls checks for the parish. He does. Miss Kate Walden. <laughs> This is mom, you know, the lady that holds the purse with all the money in it, Miss Candace Malden. We have uh, Dana Ortego, the head of HR, and my board chair, Dr. Mike Garcia. That's high power, look. Just, you could get a call from any of these people, but just don't get a call from HR. Right? So wait, who's the head of HR? Raise your hand. Dana. Oh, oh, I'd run away from that. <laughs> <laughs> You probably did most of your career, huh? Yeah, well, especially the last decade. <laughs> All right. We also have Terrebonne Parish School System. Hey, Becky did a great job last week. Leading us we used to. We, we have our legends, legends table again. Hey, and uh, we appreciate them always being here. Look at my Aunt Miriam in the back. And uh, my cousin, Lord Don, and my right cousin, here. Francis. And look who's in the house. Dr. Pat conferring with Harry, probably giving him some tips on the LSU basketball well, coach, because he probably researched him all last night. Well, the one thing I know, uh, Dr. Pat is definitely fired up about E.D. White. Right? Oh, he right, is. Dr. Pat? Oh, yeah. E.D. White's having a great year. Yeah. We're covering Terrific that game. Year. No, they have a bye. We're covering uh, Vanderbilt and Central Catholic this week. Once again, Mom says hello. She's doing better. And she wanted to let everybody know she's thinking about y'all. So, Mike, back to you. We'll be back with more sports on the bye. Right after the break, LSU talk. Whoa, stick around. It's getting good. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offered team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world, too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Mmm, mmm, you gotta try this. And some of those. Ooh, and definitely that. 
You won't be disappointed, but just know you can only get it here. Up and down Louisiana's Cajun Bayou in Lafourche Parish. Y'all come visit. We're just 35 miles south of New Orleans. Hungry? <laughs> Let's eat! Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Alford and Associates, for all of your insurance needs. And St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back with more Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. Guys, LSU, Alabama, for three quarters, this was as advertised. Whoever had the ball was scoring. You didn't get to see the punter much at all unless he was standing up on the sidelines. But then a series of events, one, at the pickoff of tip pass gets intercepted, and then uh, Dallas Turner just absolutely levels Jaden Daniels. It was game, set, match uh, at that point. Alabama had a 14-point lead at that moment. LSU wasn't catching up at all. No. And so 42-28, but LSU's defense really was the story in this game. Just how bad they were. They were playing flag football. They couldn't have tackled Jalen Milrow. I mean, he was running out in the open field, and there was no one around Milrow the entire time. Jaden Daniels had a fantastic game. Uh, you hate to see it sort of end like that for him in this football game uh, when unbelievable amount of people watching. But, man, it was a show between Milrow and Daniels. Yeah, there was a beautiful – two quarterbacks played incredibly. Both of them should be on the Heisman list. I mean, the way they played in that game. But it, no, I thought it was a really hard-hitting oh. game. I, and, I mean, of course, hard-hitting, you know, maybe on Alabama's part. Yeah, LSU's defense like, didn't hit nobody. Well, I just felt, yeah, I don't know. Well, when I, did I they hit somebody? Like I was sitting there watching the game, and I said, I was just flinching most of it. I just felt like there was, they were flying around. you got to go to the highlights <laughs> real quick. Jaden Daniels <laughs> floats one downfield. Oh. Malik Neighbors, and you get off to a fast a start. It's 7 to nothing. Game, a great start to the second half. But... The worst part is Alabama's offense got on the field. Look at Milro. That's no one around him. He cuts the corner. If you play, again, flag football, nobody's touching the flag here. Uh, you get a little bit of pressure, but then he throws it up. Ain't no damn pressure there. Man, a little bit he throws pressure. it up into the deal. Then they, on a crazy deal, that's not how the play was designed, but he sort of bounced it around and he gets inside. Then Jaden Daniels. Thank God we got Jaden Daniels. I'll tell you, without Jaden Daniels, it would be 500. They might be six and six. I'm telling you, without him. And then Milro, back to pass, <laughs> just floats one out here, and he oh, is there. wide open and make a tackle out into the open field at the 30-yard line. But then here goes Milro again, takes off running. No one around him, right, and he, one guy touches him. He looks like the varsity versus the JV. <laughs> yeah, Man, he was just Then that. Daniels yeah. gets flushed out of the pocket, takes off running downfield. Hey, Daniels is a stud. <laughs> and, and he gets twisted around pretty good That's a horse collar. Yeah. Come on, call that. Uh, missed on that one. But then Daniels, man, shows a lot of patience and decides, you know what, the heck with this. I'm just going to take off running with it. And he gets down. To hey, the 11-yard line. Why do you line. block there? Uh, well, you that's a, that's a dumb play. And then, but Daniels throws it over the middle, and Kyron Lacy from Thibodeau High School comes up with the catch. He didn't drop this one. To me, that was his best game in LSU uniform of making that play. That I, I agree. Then he hits down the stretch here. Malik Neighbors, just a great catch along the sidelines. And then LSU, Josh Williams just sort of bounces this around. LSU in the third quarter with a 28-21 victory. Again, though, uh, lead. Uh, Alabama gets the ball. Easy score. Ties it up 28-28. Yeah. Then here we go again with Milrow. I don't know, but we look at these young players. We look old on defense. I mean, we, uh, be old we look slow on defense. I know that. And then this, I think, was the turning point. It gets topped up in the air. An interception. Short field. That's all Alabama needs is a short field. And then here we go with Milro. The handoff. Everybody's eyes are on him. And they run one right in between the center guard gap for a score. And then, pow. Dallas Turner takes him out on this play. That should have been a targeting. He should have been ejected. He shouldn't have to play the first half. Was it a dirty play 10 years ago? Guys, that would have just been another well, well, regular play. But you can't. But, but the that's the why they put are. the targeting rule in. And how he finished. Yeah, he and he just it. jams yeah. him into the ground. Uh, Mike, and, is, he, is he playing uh, uh, against Florida? We're not sure about it, if he's going to play against Florida or not. But, again, it sort of sealed the deal 
42-28, and we won't get a lot of calls on sports talk about Garrett Nussmeyer should have been starting since week one. No, and we still get that he, he today. He might have his chance. No, so Nussmeyer might actually play in this game against Florida, but Alabama's defense sort of took control in the second half. They gave up one drive, but it was really Milro. And LSU could not have anything to stop him at all. Well, Nothing uh, they did stop him. You know, Mike, because uh, you do the LSU pregame with him, uh, I'm looking at Herb Tyler, and you look at uh, Jason, I mean, uh, Jane, Jalen Daniels uh, had his 11th career game with a touchdown rushing and passing. That tied Herb Tyler, yeah. you know, played from 95 to 98 for the most in program history. Then we got to acknowledge uh, Malik Neighbors, where he's at. Uh, with his first catch uh, uh, Saturday night, the 46-yard touchdown bomb from uh, Daniels, the second, in the second possession, neighbors surpassed the 1,000-yard mark in receiving yards for the second consecutive year. Now, he's just the second LSU receiver, <laughs> only the second LSU to receiver to have back-to-back 1,000-yard -back uh, seasons. We'll you be got back. to go with Josh Reed. Uh, Josh Reed was level. the last one. And he won the Belinda Cup for We'll be back. Don't go away. Harry McCullough coming up shortly with his sports feature of the week. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18-wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Alford & Associates. For all of your insurance needs, Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, and St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law, know your rights. Now, back to more Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. H, I'll throw it to you. And we got the head coach of the LSU basketball team. Yeah, we do. We got the only one and O basketball coach at LSU. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, Coach Matt Mahan, Matt, uh, McMahon. Uh, thanks so much for being here, the pride of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. So thanks so much for being here. You know, back in 1972, Dale Brown went around the whole state and put up nets on all the local basketball uh, courts to kind of raise awareness for LSU basketball. You played a game last night. You're here in home to kind of raise awareness for LSU, of course, the big game with, Tim, with, uh, with Nichols on Friday. So, first of all, thanks for being here. We appreciate you being here. How important is it to spread the word about LSU basketball? Well, I think it's huge. It's an opportunity of a lifetime for me to have the privilege to coach at LSU and represent the state of Louisiana. Uh, we tried to be really intentional in how we rebuilt our roster this spring. We, we signed five players, four out of the portal who were from Louisiana that we brought back home to represent LSU, and then Corey Chest out of New Orleans, who was the number one player in the state. So uh, I think when you look back at that 2006 Final Four team at LSU, all five starters from right down the road up from Baton Rouge, that's how we want to build the program moving forward. Okay, so uh, yeah, off to a good start. So you took the over the program in only 45 days before you tipped it off last year. Obviously, you know, you got you had a good non-conference, but SEC was a little rough. <laughs> How do you make it different this year? And I guess with those players and, and being able to recruit guys for a year makes a difference. Well, I think that was the biggest key. We knew going in the challenges uh, that we were going to face and rebuilding the program. Uh, but we're excited to get to do it. It's, it's a, a great opportunity for me, my family, our coaching staff. Uh, really, the first year was just about we had to fill a roster. We had zero players. Uh, so we had to throw together a roster. This year, we were able to be more intentional, signed a top 10 portal class uh, in this new world of, of college yeah. recruiting. Uh, one of them on display last night, seven foot, uh, Will Baker, who had 29 points on 10 of 11 shooting. So uh, now as we move forward, the NCAA investigation's complete. We've served all the penalties for the most part. 
we can really move forward. And the LSU brand is the strongest brand in all the sports. A lot of people would not guess. You look, the top 50 players in NBA uh, or professional history all played at LSU. Bob Pettit, Shaquille O'Neal, and Pete Maverick. Now, you know, not Kentucky, not Duke, not Kansas, and all that. Top 50 players in the history of basketball are from LSU. Three Do you use that? Oh, we, we sell that all the time. Bob like Pettit, the first ball. MVP in the history of the NBA, told me he made $11,000 <laughs> his rookie year. Uh, that big and, money, 11 grand. Huh? Today. Uh, but, of course, Pistol Pete, all-time yeah. leading scorer in the history of college basketball. And then everybody knows Shaq, you know, the most Shaq. recent billionaire, uh, Shaquille <laughs> O'Neal. Uh, so I think that's a huge sell. And really, you look across the sporting world, uh, you talk football, people are going to talk about Joe Burrow. You go to track and field, Shakari Richardson. Uh, you talk women's basketball, Angel Reese. Uh, and you can just keep Livy done with gymnastics. In this new NIL world we live in, that LSU brand is so strong in the support behind it and the success of the other sports. Uh, there's just so much star power at LSU right now, and it has always been historically. But I think that's something we can really capitalize as we rebuild the men's basketball program. Yeah. How does NIL work for your five core values, though? You know, I mean, NIL is kind of an individual thing, but I guess you really take off like Angel Reese when a team wins a championship. Well, I think so. Uh, you know, it's at the end of the day, uh, NIL is it's critical in today's world, but performance-based. I think people want to support winners. Now, Angel Reese can go endorse a brand, and she's going to help that brand sell their product. So it's because she wins and uh, because of her performance on the floor. So I think all those opportunities are available at LSU. Uh, but you do, to your, to your question, you still have to manage the chemistry of the locker room, and uh, that's something we're learning on the fly here. The first thing he said at his, at his news conference, hard work, unselfishness, toughness, accountability, joy. Oh, okay, that was your five core <laughs> values. Uh, okay, let's talk about the big game on Friday because obviously down the bayou we care a little bit about Nichols here as well too. So tell me about that game and how big is it for you guys to continue where you're at? Yeah, really looking forward to it. It's another opportunity for us to get better before we go uh, next week to the ESPN Classic in Charleston that has a loaded field. Uh, it'll be a great opportunity for us. But Nichols, uh, Coach Sadler uh, was a terrific college player. He's in his first year, one of the youngest coaches in the country. Like he did an eight years old. Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. He did an incredible job building his roster through the transfer portal once he took over the job. Uh, watched them play Tulane on the way down uh, from last night. It was a high scoring affair. They're really talented. Uh, so it's going to be a much tougher test for us than last night's game. Well, sure appreciate you coming down the night after a night game in Baton Rouge. So we appreciate you being here. No, thanks so much. And hopefully everyone can come check us out Friday night against Nickel State and then hang around uh, for Saturday night in Death Valley when Florida comes to town. Yeah, you're right. We'll be right back with more Sports on the Bayou. After that. Right after a short break, Stan Bravo in his prep football roundup. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. At South Louisiana Bank, we're great at banking, but we're great at a lot of other stuff, too. Is that a new rod and reel? Hey, a girl's got a fish. We care about the community we live in and the people we serve. We're not just like you. We are you. Are you balling crawfish? No, just letting them soak. We're proud to be here and work for the place and the people we love. South Louisiana Bank. It's in the name. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. And by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We 
Week 10 of the high school football season featured probably the biggest game in the state of Louisiana right here in Vachery. It was the 8-3A district championship game between St. James and E.D. White. The Wildcats score first on this 44-yard reception by Kobe Brown. Extra point, no good. 6-0 St. James. In an action-packed second quarter, E.D. White scores twice early on on Carter Douglas runs. That makes 13-6 Cardinals. Braden Williams of the Wildcats scores with about five minutes left in the half. But this big touchdown lead by quarterback Jake Sternfels of E.D. White gives the Cardinals the lead at halftime, 20-12. And after a scoreless third quarter, the Cardinals put it away. This big 44-yard pass completion to Paxton LaFont. Carter Douglas runs it in a play later. Two-score lead. E.D. White hangs on to win it. They finish the year with a perfect 10-0 season. And a look at bi-region scores as week 10, the regular season, comes to an end. Central Lafouche blasts HL Bourgeois. Terrebonne bounces back against Hornville. Destrahan too much for Thibodeau. Ellender gets throttled by Lutcher. South Terrebonne can't hang with Assumption. Patterson just gets by Berwick. Homer Christian finishes strong. Covenant Christian struggle. And Vanderbilt and South Lafouche ruled a no contest as there was an electrical fire at Memorial Stadium in Galliano. A preview of playoff action shows that in round one of the Division I non-select bracket, it'll be 7-3 Terrebonne traveling to take on 6-4 Westgate in New Iberia. The winner has Ruston next week in Ruston. 4-5 Thibodeau will be traveling to Lafayette to take on 7-3 Southside. The winner of that one will be going to Shreveport next week to take on Airline. And 5-4, and four, South Lafouche will be traveling to take on 8-1 and one, Dutchtown. The winner of that game will take on the winner of Chalmette and Ponchatoula next week. In the Division II non-select bracket, Assumption has a bye. They'll be taking on the winner of Bro Bridge and Eunice in Napoleonville next week. In the Division II select bracket, E.D. White's the Bayou region's highest seed at number two. They'll take on the winner of De La Salle and Buckeye in Thibodeau next week. Vanderbilt will be the number 13 seed. They'll take on Douglas in Homa. Douglas is 5-5 five five on the year. The Terriers 5-4. The winner of that one will take on number 4, John F. Kennedy in New Orleans next week. In the Division Three non-select bracket in Alexandria, it will be Homa Christian taking on Holy Savior Menard, both teams 7-3. The winner will be in Shreveport next Friday to take on Calvary Baptist. In Division Four select, it'll be Central Catholic at 7-3 and three, taking on four and six Hamilton Christian. The winner of that one will be in Monroe next week to take on St. Frederick. And finally, it'll be three and seven Covenant Christian traveling to Faraday to take on eight and one Delta Charter. The winner of that one takes on St. Martin's in New Orleans next Friday. I am pleased to have here with me Shelly Pop Vidros. Everybody knows Shelly as Pop. He is the athletic director at Central Lafouche High School. Central Lafouche in football got better. And I know a lot of people are going to look at just the record, but high schools go in cycles, right? And they got better and better in high school football, and it sort of culminated with a blasting of H.L. Bourgeois this week. The girls' uh, volleyball team got knocked out of the playoffs by Dutchtown. The boys have a terrific cross-country team that's going over to Natchitoches to participate in the big state meet next week. They have 10 representatives in the state meet for swimming. So things are, I would say, a light at the end of the tunnel for you guys over at Central Lafouche, right, Pop? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you know, we're very proud of these athletes. They're always working hard. And like you say, we just lost to Dutchtown Saturday in volleyball. And next week, the Monday, we have cross country. And Friday, Saturday, we have the swim meet going on. We also started with soccer, believe it or not, and basketball. Last night, we had uh, two scrimmages with the girls, basketball and uh, soccer games. So, like we talked about earlier, before we knew it, the football season's over with, and now we're back into the winter sports. I do want to uh, announce the guys who are here at the table with us, too. Chris Dugas is the offensive coordinator in football, and Chris, I've been known for a while, Chris is one of those guys who plays chess when he's doing offense. He's not a checker player. He's a chess guy, a very good offensive mind. And across from him, a guy who, it's great that Central Lafouche now has him in the administrative realm, but boy, he was a heck of a girl soccer coach there, and that's Jude Blanchard. So uh, we welcome all of Central Lafouche here. Did want to make one little thing. We were talking about this, and 
You know, a lot of times locally, we look at guys like Mason Smith and those guys who stay locally. We want to give a shout out to Ja'Kai Douglas from Terrebonne High School. He is the ACC Player of the Week for an undefeated Florida State team. So uh, Ja'Kai doing well. His brother, Jalen Lucas, plays at the University of Indiana. And his brother last year was the freshman of the year in the Big 12. Oh, excuse me, Big 10. So that being said, we got some other guys who are doing well in Central Vujia has one in David Robinson who's doing extremely well over at Nickel State. So congratulations to all of those guys also. And Martin, I think I'm to turn it over to you now. All right, guys, you remember last year Stan won the standings, right? For the most picks during the season. And he won $1,000. Oh, it was $1,000. And Stan, who has a big heart, he said, you know what? I got way too much money. <laughs> I'm making way too much money. So Stan, out of the kindness of his heart, wants to give it to the Terrebonne General Medical Center Foundation, or Health System Foundation. Wow. And I tell you, since Stan had a big heart, I'm not trying to one-up you. You gonna match gonna it? We're gonna an extra 2,000 from the sponsors, oh. the hosts, and us. Uh, so this, this is 1,000. Before we leave today, we're going to give y'all an extra 2000 now because y'all do a great job. And y'all pick a bunch of Hall of Famers, and I see a lot of them in the crowd today. Raise your hand if you're on that terrible in general Hall of Fame. Coach Albert, Harry, Bobby. Oh, oh three more go. over there. All right. <laughs> yes, indeed. You got, you got a few more here. Growing every year. So would somebody come up? And yeah, Mary, come on up. So Mary Chauvin is well, our chair. Give it to you because that's your money. Chair, well, well, I don't want to hold on to this too, too long. Uh, she's the you chair of the like foundation. Uh, and the I one. Like this is him. what it goes to, <laughs> folks, for us in the Community Sports Institute. The foundation has always been extremely giving to us related to concussion awareness tests. Uh, just this past year, they bought a Kesterol weather system for all of our high schools so that when they're doing athletics, we get proper readings related to heat and humidity, to lightning and things like that. So they're taking care of the kids in the community. So it was a no-brainer to go back to them. I don't want to give up the check, but I will. Uh, <laughs> because it's such a big thing, and Mary and Elmi and everybody in the foundation do such a great job. So Elmi? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. 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 And just Mary. to let everybody know that the other 2,000 is from everybody in this room. When you support HTV, you support a lot of causes. Hey, do I get a little plaque in the lobby? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to make sure you get this. Oh, thing. my God. I could retire now, Diane. My legacy is done. And Diane, <laughs> Diane, <laughs> Diane and her team have been with me since day one. Ron, day one when HTV started. So that's the least we could do. Mary, uh, don't go spinning on the way out. <laughs> Thanks, right, Martin. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with more sports on the bike. Don't fall asleep. When we come back from the break, Chuck Bork with his What's Up, Chuck segment. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. The new generation of Hondas are here at Barker Honda. The all-new Accord, ahead of its class, miles ahead. All-new 2023 HRV and CRV. And Pilot, built for every driving need. Family favorite Odyssey has all new trim levels. Go everywhere with Passport. And the award winning Civic. The generation for every generation. And always remember, it's better at Parker. Sports on the Bayou is also brought to you by our corporate sponsors South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Terrebonne General Health Systems and their Community Sports Institute. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terrebonne Church's United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. It's our What's Up Chuck segment. And Chuck Bork, you got it, brother. What's up, Chuck? What's up, What's up Chuck? I've uh, kind of spread things around this year. I'm going to turn it to Bobby and, and Rich this time. 
one of the, I guess, brighter spots in the Saints game was Kalen Saunders tracked down uh, Moody, the running back for the Bears, the 300, and, I'm not sorry, the wide receiver for the Bears, the 320 something pound lineman, you see him go in right there, <laughs> runs that guy down from behind and tackles him. You guys have both been in a locker room the week after that something like that happens. <laughs> You're an NFL wide receiver and a 323 pound defensive lineman runs you down from behind. How much abuse is that guy taking this week? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, he's like an alligator. He's only run 10 yards. He sprinted like 10 yards to catch him. Which he's is still okay, caught him. But he I'm not going to defend the wide receiver because he kind of was coming in. And, but you know what? He's going to take, he's going to catch hell. I would, I would say that it's going to be. He's going to catch more than a little well, bit. Yeah, it's going to be abusive. Uh, I, I wish LSU, LSU's defensive line would hustle. Like <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, I and don't you, see it hustle. I mean, that's probably hustle. a 4'7". Four, well, and, and if you look eight, at 40? it, yeah. if you look at it, there's nobody else in front of him. If he doesn't let Saunders, and he Saunders had an angle, whatever, but he still caught him from but behind. If he doesn't hustle, then that's a big chunk play, and the Bears end up scoring. So, and here's the best part about Mooney. When he was in high school, he was a 100, 200 meter sprint champ. Oh, and, oh. and that 300 pound and you get plus by got 300 that. pounds. That's even, even if, worse. Than even if they have that, that's angle. worse. <laughs> More credit to Saunders. Is there somebody else you see like that on that team, Bobby? Well, uh, the, you look at Colin Saunders. We all love him <gasps> because when they do, it's not the jumbo package. What's his nickname? Mike he has some somewhere near. Billy, him. I think it's Billy. I can't think of it. No, it's not Billy. Whatever. No. Somebody might know it. But anyway, they put him in the backfield. I kind of uh, recollect and remember, you know, when the Bears were truly the Bears. Right now, they're the bad news Bears. Uh, when they had the fridge. Remember when they won a Super Bowl and put fridge in the backfield? And, you know, uh, Coach Dick had caught a bunch of flack because uh, they gave uh, fridge a chance and they handed it off to him. He got a touchdown instead of Walter Payton in the Super Bowl in New Orleans when they crushed the Patriots. But uh, when, I, when, I, when I see Colin Saunders back there, no, he's very athletic. And I was telling you, Chuck, that they ran a play action, and they actually went to cover Kalen Saunders, a couple of guys. And then Jawan Johnson was wide open on the back of the end zone. So uh, the, the thing is with Colin Saunders, so a lot of these young, or you might see NFL players that play on the D-line, he goes, man, I'm, man, I can catch the ball. I can run. I was a running back in high school. You know, a late bloomer, you, you're not always 300 pounds. You're not... Uh, you know, a good girl. But he was one. I was a running back in That's high pregnancy. school. So uh, I know what to do with the football. And the Saints are aware of that. So you see more of those packages in the goal line. Him leading the way, blocking, or maybe catching in the flat, or having an opportunity to run and score a touchdown. You, know, you make a great point with the creativity. You know, you got, who else has got a Taysom Hill on their team? And, and Peyton created that position. No, I give position. that to Sean. You're right. Man, Peyton Sean created really that position. So that. With, with the scoring the way it is and every. You got to be creative. Maybe a, well, a unique well, package well, well, with well, someone well, like that. Well, well, we Do have a full to be, house backfield. We maybe. have to be thankful uh, that Derek Carr he has enough common sense and he's not too prideful. That uh, you know you're going to take me out uh, to put Taysom Hill in there. Uh, well, we've been sucking in the red zone. Go the goal. So if, if Taysom Hill has success, then that makes me look good because we're scoring. You already got your money. They're paying you 150 million dollars. Uh, come on. So you can't be, oh, I'm the man, I'm the man. No, no. Well, uh, Drew Brees, let it be that way. And he's going to go to the Pro Football uh, Hall you know, of Fame. Uh, that's why uh, Derek Carter did not realize he's watching the game with the Saints. Why are they taking out Drew Brees and putting this cat? <laughs> yeah, well, now he knows. <laughs> he knows how good Taysom Hill is. Thank you, Chuck. Thank Appreciate you it. We'll right, be Chuck. back with more sports on the Bayou. Don't fall asleep now because when we come back, I'll give away an award to someone who's in the audience on my Stay to Play segment. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need to experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Borg have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18-wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Borg today to schedule your free consultation.
The Terrebonne Church's United Food Bank. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Alford & Associates. For all of your insurance needs, Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, and St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back to more Sports on the Bayou. Dealing with your We're back here on Sports on the Bias, our what state of play, Martin? So I'll throw it to you. Yeah, if, if my two students quit cutting up okay. over here. <laughs> Were they good? Hey, <laughs> send me to the office. I got sent no, to the office. No, that's what he so wants to do, get sent to the office. My classroom was the office. <laughs> Man, I never made Mr. Gaspar and cut off elementary. You changed the color on us. I mean, I got whooped. All right, who's going to help I, me? Uh, who's going to help me pull the ticket? I'm, I'm trying to. Come on, CJ. Come on, there we go. Man, you put that hand up so quick. All right. Come on, CJ. We got Casey right? Hill. All right, come on. Come over here, come CJ. I'm walking around a bit. Right here. Uh, you realize, CJ, if you don't pull my ticket, you're in trouble. Right. It's in CJ's uh, first they put TV in. appearance. Oh, man. Yeah. Nice. There we go. There we go. All right, CJ. Ticket number one. <laughs> is going to be oh let me put those back in that does it every time that's a flaw in the this system is, you know this is yeah, cj right help now. me put those back you're in. really creating a lot of <laughs> doubt here martin i mean you do that it's like be the they, third they, time you're doing this you know, candace yeah. malden is watching this very carefully she's a cfo <laughs> So, so, so what is Diane is a CFO. So, so, so Barbara, what are you? What are we picking for right now? Just the two tickets for the Nichols LSU game. Okay. All right. Lester, good job. You got that. Good, good job. All right. Lester. CJ, pulling some strings, Lester. Well, I, I have an extra one for my mom too, just to let y'all know. I'm not. I'm not double dipping. Lester, don't be talking smack <laughs> out there. All right, CJ, pull one ticket out of here. Um, With sound effects. This is. So this is. All right, let's see. Watch this. If, well, what are the last five, three nine, numbers? Everybody got 595, five, 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 right? No, what five, are the last nine, three five, numbers? 595. Five, 782. 772. 595, five, 782. Yeah. Oh! One! Alvin and Associates! Oh, oh, oh. All right. Wait, let me hold this second. I don't want it to fall. Wait, I got your ticket. Take what's behind the curtain. Trade it in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> On the big deal. <laughs> hey, who you bringing? You think really? Road trip. Road trip to Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> you got somebody at the office? Not to get in your personal business. You got somebody at the office? <laughs> HR, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a basket that... Uh, Joni and Darla called the Cajun Meat Market. They put a nice basket. You know, Thanksgiving's coming right, right, around, the right around the corner. So, CJ, you going to pull another one? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Get him off the set. No, no, just kidding. Tiger game. Says, oh, yeah. Well, oh, again, Martin, you got to hang on to those tickets. Yes, sir. Five, nine, five, seven, one, five. Rouses again. Wow. Rouse oh, says, hey, look at this, all right. Perennial, perennial. Hey, you know what, Bobby, hey, I hey, think hey. they're getting the early wait, tickets. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm not through yet. I'm going to add, I'm going to sweeten the, the food pot here. Yeah. Huh? All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. stuff is good, though. We, I'm going to sweeten the pot. people food uh, in the food I'm going to throw in $100 cash for the last one today. Oh, $100 oh, cash. That got everybody's attention. All right, CJ? Tax-free. CJ, don't pull your own number, either. My name. What's his name? Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Put one back in there. <laughs> I ain't giving 200. <laughs> He's watching you, Marty. That's your money. Here we go. Five, nine, five, seven, nine, eight. Seven, nine. Yo, come on. Right, she's, she's rich. <laughs> 100 Come on bucks. up, get your hundred bucks. That is awesome. That, that hundred bucks is never going to make it home. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to dig in my pocket because Bobby sure didn't make a move for his. <laughs> <laughs> now that is well deserved. If Lester would have won that, I said we got to pick again. Yeah, right, here you go. Come on up, <laughs> CJ. CJ. 
Oh, hand it hundred dollars. Go hand it that hundred dollars. Oh, no, yeah. You notice Martin gave it out in twenties this time. <laughs> you know, no hundred dollar bill. I don't know if that well, means look, anything. Or don't not. let don't let Chuck hand it to us. You only get sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Got his cut. <laughs> Chuck, I love you, a good sponsor, but you set yourself up for that one. <laughs> All right, Mike. There you All right, we'll be back with more sports on the bike. <laughs> Coming up, a look at next week's game. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Terrebonne General Health System is the largest healthcare resource in Southeast Louisiana, offering a high-tech and high-touch style of healing. World-renowned services include cardiology, women's health, cancer care, and a healthy lifestyle center. This is a true calling for all the physicians, nurses, and staff who make up our proud Terrebonne General family. We are here to provide health care for our community. To discover more, please visit tghealthsystem.com. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, Alford & Associates, for all of your insurance needs, and St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back with more Sports on the Bayou. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll be back next week with another version of Sports on the Bayou. Hooray, hooray. Go Saints, three straight we'll wins on Sports on the Bayou.